Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We're back in Equinox with the world that we've been working on. Last time we expanded out this woodland section, as well as a little bit more to the forest and the wings there. And of course, our central grassland, that, which is where we started. So last time, I think we had just gotten the deer. We can get camel from that. We're going to wait. You can kind of tell how the game wants you to progress based on the cost and diversity points where this is 140,000 for a camel which is for that desert biome I mentioned previously we're gonna hold off on that for right now instead I'm gonna pay a little bit of attention to the fish and the seaweed so for kelp we'll need large rocks water lily will need red fish Let's think about redfish. I haven't looked at what we need first for a particular task. Maybe I should do that first. Gone fishing. For this task, you need to create a complete underwater ecosystem with multiple species. Just turn down the volume. Uh, with multiple species of fish and seaweed. Unlock the necessary water plants and fish first and then use them to create a balanced ecosystem. So we already have trout and we'll need redfish, kelp, and water lily. Okay. With that in mind, I think the first thing we need to do is kelp and just have some large rocks. So let's do that first. Let's do some rocks i don't think we've actually built any rocks just yet I'm just putting down a bunch let's put some all over if we need to remove these we can we're pretty firmly into 5,000 diversity points per minute which is also pretty good anyway uh kelp we need these to be a bit bigger so we'll do some selective breeding do we have any that would work? Uh, I'm not seeing any. So if that's the case, we're going to just start selectively breeding these. Get them a bit bigger. Just curious. Yeah, very expensive. Oh, and we have a good contender right here. Size 1.08. It was moving in the right direction. All right, and we have kelp. There is one. So, kelp, a second tier seaweed plant that grows underwater. The kelp helps to improve the quality of a river bi bed biome, which many fish and water animals require. It can grow in both fresh and tropical waters doesn't like swamp but we can do rocks and stones just thinking about swamp just far in advance is probably going to be this block of water there this there's less water in this world than i would generally like i'm thinking even after we finish this world we might do a higher water one just because that's always fun anyway Kelp itself can become tropical seaweed. We're not going to worry about that just yet. Meantime, let's just start spreading some. All over. You can see this is already 100% in some places river, river bed. Great. So trout for redfish, we just need this to be pink. If that's the case, just some more. Selective breeding. Thankfully, that's very cheap. We should start seeing some results of this pretty soon.
Pretty soon we should start seeing some more of those. The world actually looks pretty nice from down here. If you go right down to the water's edge. I normally don't look at things from this angle. So you can see there's a lot of deer right there. It's probably because there's a lot of berries and stuff. Just keep an eye out on the trout. Let's make one of... Is that a pink? Nope. I think pretty soon we'll start seeing some results. And there we go. There's a good contender. We'll get this moving to redfish. If I recall correctly, redfish might start eating the trout, but that's fine. There we go. Redfish. The redfish resides in the rivers and lakes of Equilinox. This fish likes to live in areas where kelp seaweed plant is growing. It's able to grow in some tropical areas, though it dislikes the presence of shells in its habitat. Great. Nope, this one doesn't, in fact, eat anything, but it's fine. So, we'll put down some redfish just all over. We're already in the 6,000 diversity points per minute. Let's see what else we need. Just some water lilies. So let's look for some kelp. Should do. Nope. We want seaweed for this. Water lily. Perfect. Nope. Oh, and that died. That also died. that also died a little bit of a hassle okay even looks pretty nice we do have some water lilies so water lilies this water-based plant grows well in rivers and ponds it grows best in swamp and river biomes and is a great addition to the habitat of many water animals just like having fish around Great, so we'll just start spreading some around and we get the reward for that task. Great. So we've gone fishing. That just gives us two more totally quackers and tropical waters. All right. Now we have some good fish underway. I think our next focus is going to be getting some more birds because that's just an area we haven't really investigated much. Still should be some chickens. Yep. Let's see. Sparrow needs to be woodland and diet of barley. Okay. And it looks like we have purple chickens. I'm not sure why, but I'm not going to question it. Anyway, let's let's get some sparrows. Hitting 7,000 diversity points. So if that's the case, uh needed at least a bit of woodland so let me take a look at wheat this likes having stones nearby so I'm wondering if we could just do it at like the edge of the water that might be a good idea no uh just see so grassland woodland 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 grassland you need to check that one more time just bear with me viewer sparrow needs greater than 30 percent okay fair enough i'm gonna say somewhere in this area is going to work for our needs. Diet of barley, it said. So I don't even need to worry about wheat. Barley grows forest and woodland. Oh, 
I think I might be confusing myself. What is it like nearby herbs and stones? Okay. Is there anything... Now I need to cross... This is the... Where you have to start thinking with this game. Is you have to think what likes what and what doesn't like what. So I'm going to look at lives in woodland. I'm just trying to think what doesn't like stones. So looking at the trees... Nope, that's okay. Apple trees... It's fine. Sycamores, that's also good. Oak trees, not really a big deal. Uh, tomato plants, nope. I think the other big one to check is just the berry bushes. Doesn't like large rocks, but we can do stones. Okay. It's good to know. gonna just put out some stones in the wider world cool now we're gonna put out some barley Really just going to layer in the barley a bit. Looking pretty good already. Oops. Whatever I press them, the keyboard. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. Just looking around. Yeah, let's go ahead and put down some chickens. Just spreading them all around. It's a lot of eggs. We can get a duck because there is a water lily nearby. Let's. I'm just going to go for it. It's not what I was aiming for, but hey. Cool. And we can already get sparrows, too. So, duck. Those can become peacocks. Let's look at the duck. A duck is a bird that likes to live near water, enjoys swimming, can dive down underwater to eat seaweed. Being a bird, the duck also lays eggs. So, grassland, forest, riverbed, swamp, lush, woodland. Okay. I remember the lush ones look good. We haven't really seen those mentioned. Likes water plants and trees, and we have plenty of trees. Great. I'm going to say we're going to put some more ducks down, just so I don't forget. I almost typed the wrong word. Okay. E-U-C-K. <laughs> what does it look? doesn't like herbivores. I think it's just going to have to deal, to be honest. I'm going to spread a couple of trees out this way. So these are elms. Let's just do some sycamores. This also serves the purpose of just spreading out this biome a little bit. Okay. Great.
just flush it out a little bit more. So, two satisfied ducks. Perfect. That gives us jungle rocks. I wasn't even going for totally quackers, but hey, what can you do? Right, I think I wanted to do sparrows, if I recall correctly. That was the plan. Sparrows. Perfect. Alright, and we have sparrows. So a small forest bird, the sparrow flies around and occasionally lands on the branches of nearby trees. Sparrows build nests and lay eggs in their nests in order to reproduce. This bird has no trouble living in almost any part of the world as long as there are trees available. So just as in lake snow and lush, grassland, forest, and woodland. We're going to spread these guys out a bit just because I like having birds around personally. Also give us some nice diversity points as well. Let's just get some more. Coming to the end of year three. Put a couple in the forest. Okay. Let's look at our tasks. Bird in the hand. Use the chicken to breed the sparrow species. Oh, I'm already way ahead of that. Once you've got some sparrows, make sure they're living near some suitable trees for a uh, nest building. Trees with a long life length and plenty of branches work best. After a while, the birds will start to build a nest. Great. So we'll just wait for those guys to build some nests. That will also give us jungle grass, which is basically the game pushing us towards a jungle biome, which I think will be our next one. Potato, potato. Some clever animals are able to dig up root vegetables, spread it over. I've already read this one. So just want to get some potato plants, I think, as our next one. Forget how to do that precisely. Is it from tomatoes? No. Berries? This gives us holly bush, though. That's, that's good to know. Um, I'm going to need to look up potatoes. That comes from sage. Okay, sage is forest. Oh, and that makes sense with the wild boars. So let's see what we'll need in particular for that. It's barley, burn, more barley, more barley. Okay, now I think I'm just going blind. That's a cedar tree. That's barley. Weird. I thought... Do I, did I just not put down it's on the sage? Is this it? No, that's Heather. Barley. Weird. Anyway, I got the bird in the hand one. Get the rewards for that. I'm just gonna start putting down a bunch of sage just so I'm, I know it's actually in existence. What's wrong with this? I like stones and grasses. Right, I don't have any stones here. That's probably why they're all dying out. That makes sense. So let's do a quick search for forest. Just make sure nothing dislikes stones.
No, I think we're I think we're okay. If that's the case. I'm just gonna put down. We already have brown stones anyway. I'm just gonna put down even more just to be safe. Anyway, sage, potato plant. We need an acer tree nearby. And where did I put those? Somewhere up there. Nope, those are red maples. That's birch. Hmm. Did the acers dry die out? I'm noticing a lot of tall trees. That could be why. I'm gonna purge some of the tall trees. Still a couple up there. Just really want to be careful about this. I'll build some more acers just across the world, just so they don't all die out again. Because they shouldn't have a problem in the grassland. Already hitting 9,000 diversity points, which is good. Just grinding for some more. Okay. ducks are in good order it looks like all our ducks are in a row you could say okay let's get back to forest bio Still needs an acer tree relatively close. That uh, and that one died. Great, and we have potatoes. So, potato plant, a leafing plant with lots of starchy potatoes underneath. Most animals will just eat the leaves of this plant, but some have the ability to dig up the entire potato plant to uncover all the starchy goodness that lies below. So, this actually does spread forest biome, but can grow almost anywhere. Okay, so we'll spread this out a bit. We'll put some at the border as well. Okay. So as we let the potatoes come to fruition, I'm not forgetting about the fir trees. There's at least one still. So going back to mountaineering, holly bushes. So we'll need goats. We'll need holly bushes and we'll need to be able to spread the snow biome. Okay. Oh, and we, we need the potato plants anyway to really get moving, I think, on that. Regardless, I think I am going to... Hmm. 
maybe put down another fur. I think this likes the snow rocks. Just likes large rocks. These are stones, that's that's why they're all dying. Duh. Now we can get snow rocks. Really just making sure we have a lot of rocks here. Yep, and we can see the fir trees are actually expanding, which is good. Put down one more. Perfect. Let's see about getting holly first. So for holly bush, we need berry bushes. Okay. And what's up here? Just digging a hole? We got that. Just some more bonus. Oh, and digging a hole actually gives us um, another repeatable. And this gives us 17,500 to go. So that's what's nice about the forest is you can get the apples, you can get potatoes. So digging a hole, but also potato party. Guinea pig, 30 potatoes. Okay. Oh, uh, so it's like a symbiotic relationship because the boars would dig up the potatoes and then the guinea pigs will eat them. That makes sense. Anyway. So we have some berry bushes. None really high up, though. There's one up here. To get holly, we need at least between 45 and 60. So for a requirement like this, I'll honestly just start putting them up a bit. Put a couple up here. That wasn't high enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, it was just shy, right up there. Put one right here. Try not to let it die first. Okay. And we got chicken diseases. Hooray. A lot of chicken diseases. Seven, six. They're going to start dying. Where are they? Oh, it's these guys. Yeah, let's... Okay. We're just going to jack up dizzy. That probably was a waste of diversity points because they're already sick. Yeah, this one... Let's jack up that disease resistance. Just a little bit. Okay. Anyway, we do have a holly plant. We'll put that way up. So holly bush, a small bush which grows in snowy areas. This does spread the snow biome. This bush produces small red edible berries, which is great for animals living in the snowy biomes. This is one of the only food sources that can survive at high altitudes. So it needs to be above 45. Likes having rocks and stones. Perfect. A 
We actually have snow up here. Perfect. Okay. And for goat, I just need to recall how we get there. That's from sheep. I'm assuming it's just from sheep eating the holly. Yep. Oh, it just needs to be above 50 meters and just snow. Start evolving that. And we're hitting 10,000 diversity points per minute. Pretty good. Great, and we have goats. The goat species enjoys living in high altitudes and has a diet of small plants and fruit. Although scared of predators, the goat will fight back when attacked. It sometimes also rams into nearby fruit trees, knocking out all the fruit from the tree. Oh. Huh. I didn't... I don't know what that does. I just pressing the letter G. The key G. The G key. Now we're really hitting around with the goats. We'll let those guys do their thing. So we have a new biome up there. I'm looking pretty good. Let's see if we can get a good view. Yeah, pretty good. So for mountaineering, we just need 20 holly bushes eaten. Those guys are probably asleep. Great. Almost there. We'll claim that. And new songs. Cool. And I know more sick chickens. I'm just... We have chickens elsewhere. Honestly, they're not a super high priority animal. We got some nice melding there. I like that. Cool. Yeah, it looks nice once these start mixing the different biomes. So foxes, right. A sly fox. This animal has a lovely orange coat and hunts for small mammals. During a hunt, the fox will attempt to catch a small animal and will carry its meat back to the home for the rest of the foxes to feed from. So, so now we actually have a carnivore. So grassland, forest, uh, snow, swamp, lush woodland, likes trees, eats meat, hunts chickens and small herbivores. Cool. We're just going to put them everywhere. Not in like huge amounts, but we're, we're going to put a couple of down.
don't have much going on on this side because I think we're going to put a jungle somewhere around here. We might actually cut back a little bit and move this woodland up there. That's what I'm thinking so far. Okay, so let's look at our tasks. Just thinking about where to put the desert. Um, here's that one task that I mentioned. Desert Eagle. Eagles have the ability to swoop down from their mountain biomes and or from their mountain homes rather and catch small mammals from nearby biomes. Create a desert biome close enough to an eagle habitat and wait for an eagle to snatch up an unsuspecting desert hare. Good to know. So I'm thinking we have a desert kind of along this stretch that would be close enough. Just looking at our mountains over here perhaps along this way we just have like a big desert just going all around the outside maybe that's what i'm thinking perhaps i'm gonna put i'm gonna start putting the desert somewhere around here this will be another new biome I have a feeling I selected mountainous when I did this. Maybe that wasn't the best choice, because I'm used to there just being like one or two big mountains. Um, yeah. Not a big deal either way. So yuccas. Small spiky plant that grows in the desert. This is the most basic desert plant in Equilinox and is a good place to start when creating a desert biome. It doesn't like stones. It can do barren land. It just needs to be below 50 meters. start making a desert out here kind of weird to have a desert near a forest but what can you do I'm also just paying attention to that little bit of water there because that could be useful I can't remember if the desert needs anything Already hitting 12,000, almost 13,000, which is good. So for Yucca to become a small cactus, cactus does need rocks and stones. So what does an Yucca like? It doesn't like stones, so we can do rocks. I think there was a desert rock. There was. We got this from Desert Eagle. Okay. We'll just do some brown rocks, I think. Just all around. Just want to make sure of something. Okay, so these don't mind. That's good. We have a cactus. Did I even read out the Yucca one? Uh, yes, I did. Small cactus. A small spiky ball. This cactus needs to grow in a desert biome and prefers rocky areas. The center of this cactus is filled with delightfully fresh water, which provides nutrients for small desert mammals. 
just needs to be below 100 meters, not a real big deal. I'm also going to prep up here a bit. I'm just going to put some snow. Rocks. We got fox hunting. Not all animals in Equilinox are cute and cuddly. Some of them are vicious beasts that feast on the blood of their prey. The foxes need to eat meat, so place them in an area with chickens or other suitable small creatures so they can go hunting. Great, we get 44,000 and a new task. We'll get to that later. We'll get some holly bushes going. About midway through year six. We'll even put a goat up here. Just one to start. Cool. Okay. So we'll need desert trees for medium cactus. Yucca can also become a prickly pear, which should be, I think, one of the trees, maybe. We just need to get these guys bigger. All right, I think this is a good place to stop for right now. We've been working on snow and desert biomes. We're expanding some of the current ones and we're introducing some new predators into the ecosystem. Really, really is a living world. Great, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.